Hello everyone, it's me Skyminer back in another video today and you might be thinking, oh what? What's Skyminer? What are you what are you doing? You are you doing actually another tutorial video? After so many months of requesting one? Yes, I am. <laughs> but um real quick before this video starts, um I just wanted to cut go over like two things number one is sorry for not uploading so much I've been super busy and and I will talk more about this what's going been going on um, soon but I just don't have enough time right now basically I am going out of town for a week maybe a week and like a couple days more so like eight days nine days or something like that because we are going to my grandparents house for Thanksgiving and yeah so I'm gonna be out of town for that and I don't really have a computer, so I can't uh, get any videos out. And um, I, yeah, I'll get more into why I haven't been uploading as much. Uh, sorry about that. Um, but real quick, I'd like to give a major shout out to uh, Panda, or his channel should be on the screen right now, so you can kind of see it. His channel link will be in the description. But he actually just like out of the blue, I didn't even ask for it, but he made me the sick intro, and here it is. Okay, yeah, that was that's legit like an amazing intro. Like, I just can't believe someone could, would want to make me like you know just like that's so cool. But <laughs> anyways, basically today I got some requests. I asked on Twitter. Most most of the time, I've been getting lots of questions on YouTube too or in my comments, and they were kind of wondering how do you make this logo background. And I kind of wanted to do a quick tutorial on that for you guys before I leave for my trip. Um, basically, if you're wondering, I am in Photoshop. All I did was I opened up um, a new comp. This is kind of where I did all of, like, this is the crown that I did for Marty Plays, the G, and then that's like a uh, watermelon seed from an old intro. Um, but basically, I have the crown right here. So what you're going to do is just have a new composition or whatever it's called. I don't even know. Project, I guess. Put it in the middle of the screen, right? Easy. Um, then you're going to want to go up to this like tool right here, kind of like a uh, quick selection tool. Go over that, copy, uh, make work, work work path or whatever it's called, and do 0 0.5 or you can even go lower. I just went to it's because it's pretty good. Um, but what you're going to want to do here is you're going to copy this right. Um, then you won't need Photoshop anymore. So just well minus out because just in case you didn't copy it right, it won't like give any signs or anything. So. Um, what I'm going to do now is in After Effects, I have this already opened, I'm going to go and make a new composition. You can kind of copy this. And cool stuff, maybe. Yay, that's this composition right here. Um, please do not copy this name. It is only for um, special. Um, actually, not really. It's, it's just really weird okay um, <laughs> then you want to go to here go to uh, right click this little area down here push new go to shape layer and then what you're going to do is you're going to grab this pen tool it's right here up in the corner and you're going to want to click the middle so now it will give this sh uh, shape layer actually a shape in the middle and the middle is just, it's just going to be like nothing because it doesn't have a shape really yet so what you're going to do is go to contents um, open this up, contents, shape, path. Go to path, copy this in, voila, you have a shape. Uh, oh, that looks really weird. I have this up way too high, I don't even know why. I actually put that to zero, and I'm going to give this a white color. And as you can see, you get an automatic logo into After Effects, and um, yeah, so now it's not just like bringing it into After Effects, it's actually in a shape layer. Like it took me forever to figure out how to do this. Like I had to watch so many tutorial vids and then like put them together and then figure out how to do it. So I kind of, I guess, uh, found it out on my own kind of how to, in this way how to do it. But um, if you guys find other tutorials or have any suggestions for an easier way for me to do it, if you guys know of one, you are more than welcome to share with me. But yeah, now what you're going to want to do is go and add a uh, repeater. So now you can get multiple copies and I me let me see if I can pull this intro up real quick. Okay guys, so here I got it. It's got it pulled up. It took me a minute because I'm a noob. But basically it's got these crowns that are kind of just like moving and I will do a more tutorial on how to make a move later and how to make a move like smoothly and stuff. 
in another video if you guys can actually hit 50 likes in the first day of this uploaded. I will do a tutorial on how to make the crowns move. Uh, it's in sync with the beat, right? So basically, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, or something close to that. So basically, repeater, I'm probably going to go with 50. And then you want offset, you're going to want it negative half, so 25. And then let me move my mic a little, a little bit farther away from my face. One second. Uh, there we go. Um, then you're going to want to have position uh, just enough to make it a little bit farther away, right? You don't want it too close. So I'm going to have this uh, 140. Uh, it will be different depending on what logo you use. Um, yep. Yeah. And then let me see. What do we want to do next? Uh, pretty, pretty much it, actually. Um, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to scale this down just slightly. So now as you scale it down, so you have all those shape layers that you, you, can, you can scale it down. So I'm going to scale it down to make it look like that, right? Then you're going to want to make, actually, what we're going to do next is make a position, copy the main position at 10, 10 or 0, and then make it move over some until you know it'll be good and then make it kind of line up with how it looked before, like that. So it kind of, it moves, right? And you want it like a nice consistent move so you have plenty of space because if you're syncing this, um, what you're gonna usually do right here is use time revamp on it. And if you want me to do a time revamp tutorial, I will do one um, uh, when I get back from my trip. Um, yeah, so basically, that's what it's going to be kind of looking like. I don't know if why it's not playing, but whatever. Like that. And what you can do is, oh, I guess this works for now. I'll do a more tutorial on it later. So what you want to do now is just make this a composition. Uh, Pre-compose it, actually. Not composition, I don't even know what I'm saying. It's kind of late. Whatever. Uh, back for background. Um, and you want to copy this and make it move up like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll do eight for now. If you're wondering how I'm doing that, I'm pushing shift and page up, page down. Oh, what am I doing now? What do you know? I don't even know. Oh, oh I'm not doing page up. Uh, let me see. Oh, I'm doing the arrows. <laughs> when you don't even know what you're doing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, and then do another one, put it above. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You don't want it too much up. You can if you don't have black bars, but if you put black bars like most of my interests do, then you just put it like this. You can make it go up or down as much as you want. Um, just you always want it to be equal. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I put make it like this. If I copy, it goes above. So I put it, bring it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Um, and then see. You have it like this and they're all moving and you're like, well, how do you make a move different directions? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into 3D and then you're gonna go down to basic 3D right here. Uh, I don't even know what that is, whatever. Um, I don't really care. <laughs> and then you're gonna go to here and then you want to, I think, uh, tilt is 180. Nope, that is not. If you're wondering how you like flip text and stuff, this is how I do it. It's probably the easiest way. But um, just flip it like that. See, tilt does that, and this does that. So it like kind of makes it makes it 3D. It's super easy. Um, I just like bear. I have like one day I'm like looking in 3D things. Oh, that works. So I'll use that for now on forever. Uh, that's how I found it basically. <laughs> so now, as you can see, they're going different directions. And yeah, that's actually pretty much how you make a background, right? And uh, then you just copy or, or select them all and go do back. And there you have, you have like a background. Now, if you like are wondering like, well, well, that's not really a background. Well, you can just add like a shape. If you add a shape layer behind it and you're wondering why, why is it white? You can either make it white or black for, for, for their different reasons. Um, let me see if I can show you guys like Blue is a, this kind of blue is pretty cool. Uh, so basically, if you have it white or the color is white, if you bring it down, it'll be a little bit lighter than the background, right? And then if you have put a fill on it, uh, no, that's not how you spell fill. 
there we go put a fill on it and then you make it black it is darker um, so it's kind of just like preference do you want it darker or lighter uh, usually I just have it lighter just because I feel like it looks better and it like kind of pops out more um, but yeah it's just all of it in preference and I feel like around this 45 so 45 is really kind of where I would prefer it or I'm pretty sure how I used it for uh, Marty's um, yeah close to that and yeah basically I just wanted to do a quick short tutorial if you guys think I missed some stuff in this or want more clarification I will be back in a week put your comments down in the comments well that's what they're for if you have any questions put them in the comments <laughs> or if you want me to be more clarified um, when in our next tutorial or when I get back I'll do a tutorial on how to make it sync better with time revamp but it's all up to us if you guys want me to or not. And yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time in my next video. And bye.